behalf of my elders, I say Womanjika, I wish to welcome you from the tops of the trees to the roots in the ground. So please share your culture. I firmly believe if we can understand each other's cultures, that we can live in harmony. The Libyan Pavilion is all about putting or allowing space for our First Nations people to take centre stage, to be able to tell their stories of place and to share the wisdom and beautiful heritage um, that we often don't get to see when we walk through urban spaces. We wanted to bring 40,000 plants, Indigenous Kulin Nation plants, onto campus to recreate reimagine this site as an Indigenous place. One that celebrates biodiversity and Indigenous knowledge systems through the native um, plants themselves. Uh, I think plants work as a really great portal to help people to understand how complex our knowledge systems are and also to understand that there is a really careful science to the ways in which Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have been using plants over thousands and thousands of years to survive in one of the harshest places in the world. So I've given a lot of information about their medicinal uses, nutritional and also uses in uh, technologies such as nets and traps. I'm an artist, scientist and I am here as an artist in residence at the Living Pavilion. For this installation work I am using lamandra to make string or rope and hanging it all around the tree. Lamandra is a very durable plant and yeah, it grows in many places around Australia and has been traditionally used for weaving and rope making techniques by indigenous cultures all around Australia. So I'm continuing the same tradition. We are on the lands of the Kulin Nation. And so this land is in fact telling us stories. The stories are often hidden, quite discreet. But how do we start to give voice to those echoes of history and memory that reside in place? The contribution of the Living Pavilion to a better way of working with Aboriginal knowledge is, I think, quite significant. So this is the rarest eucalyptus in Australia and the only edible one. <laughs> like this is anti-cancer, it is strawberry gum or forest berry. So when we look after each other and we truly look after country, country will look after us. Another show off.